All right, guys, today's video comes from none other than Ben Shapiro himself, and it's titled F You. I'm talking student loses it while debating Ben Shapiro. We're going to get into it. But um, since we're talking about Ben Shapiro, I might as well mention at the end of the month of October, I will be gifting uh, either one, two or three Insider Plus or All Access memberships to The Daily Wire. All you got to do is like, comment, share and subscribe on my videos for a chance to win. Now, let's get into it. Before I ask my question, so are your, do you come from Holocaust survivors or are you a Jewish family that didn't? Uh, so my great, great grandparents arrived here. A lot of I just got to say, I know I'm stopping early, but I think it's evident. You could already tell he's trying to make this dude is trying to make some sort of emotional argument because he's talking. He acts. He, he, he wants to know. He wants to know this. He wants to know the answer to this question before he even proceeds with his. Uh, with his um, statement or question or whatever it is he's doing. A lot of our extended family was killed in the Holocaust, but, but our army. Your great great not. grandparents, but not your grandparents. Right. Oh, do you have friends whose grandparents were Holocaust survivors or anything like that? Of course, that? many of them. Yeah, I've written, I've, I've, helped, uh, I've helped write memoirs of Holocaust survivors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their families are kind of messed up, right? Uh, like, my family is very messed up. I mean, if you they, go through a trauma teach, like the Holocaust, they, I would imagine. They it teach that trauma between generations. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, trauma very often in a lot of circumstances is passed down. I mean, I know some kids of Holocaust survivors who turned out fantastic and some who didn't. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Okay. So okay. you are officially woke. That is what wokeness is about. It's like, uh, you know, people's grandparents or their great grandparents were slaves. Well, that's okay. No, that's okay. That's Fuck okay. you. I'm, I'm talking. Want, guys, I, I actually want to hear. No, I, no, want, no, I want to hear. <laughs> He lost it. <laughs> he really lost it. Yo, yo, he just he just trying to, you know, some people, it take them a little bit longer to, you know, formulate their ideas to figure out what exactly they're trying to say. I was kind of wondering, though, like, what's what's the point? Like, what is he getting at? But he said, OK, you are now woke and the crowd started booing. Let's continue. I actually want to hear. No, no, I, want, I want to hear. I, no, it's OK. It's OK. I, I, I want I want to, to I want to hear. hear the, let's at least hear the argument. Let's, OK, so let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. Go. What? He wants to hear. Me. I do want to hear it. It's fine. Let he him go. Let, let's hear it. Come on. Come on. I'll just, you know, so I'll ex you. explain Come how on. that's woke. So, I mean, the whole thing is, is like, oh, let's see. So during <sighs> Silent Cal, Calvin Coolidge's administration, do you know about like the great Mississippi flood back in the 1930s? See, but I will say, look, this is the problem, though, man. You can't come up here like like you'll see this when people call into um, like talk shows. You can't just call in and, you know, have a big word salad for waiting for like people are waiting to ask ask questions as well you're not the only one you can't just sit up here and take five minutes you get you probably get like a minute to ask your question and that's it you're supposed to move on so he's angry but at the same time he didn't come up there prepared either i understand that american history is filled with racial evil. yeah 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 and and that causes some intergenerational trauma which affects people's ability to be you okay, know, so let me let us, okay, things like that. Fine. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, so if the idea is that history has consequences, of course that's true. That's not yeah, wokeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not wokeness. What wokeness suggests is that fundamental institutions in American society no, are so No, it doesn't. Yes, I, it a I ran does. I ran Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I helped organize her volunteers around here. <laughs> I I just had a feeling he was going to get booed again as soon as he said that. I ran Elizabeth Warren's campaign. I helped organize her volunteers around here. It's a conservative crowd you in right there, bro. I am. They don't like Elizabeth Warren. I am a representative of wokeness. Okay. Well, and that's just, I mean, this is all it is. So did he just come up there to flex? Like, I don't understand. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I... I, you know, I when, hope I, that, when I uh, went to go get my first tattoo, I, I, the guy I, I, had lightning bolts and 88s tattooed on his neck. And as a Jewish person, um, that's really messed up. It's, so it's basically a threat. There are, there are racist people who exist. The argument that you're making, and I'm going to close with this because this is going in weird directions and I don't really no, want to... No, no, no. It's not I, going I don't, in I don't really want to... No, just hold this up is, a second. This I, let, is I let you get out your arguments and that's, now it's time for me to respond. Yeah, very passive aggressive. He's trying, to, he's trying to come off as all nice, but then you already heard him say, F you, I'm talking. And he's constantly talking over Ben Shapiro. Passive aggressiveness. Which I let you say Okay, before. I'll let you respond, but... No, 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 not but. Now's my turn. You 
You are not characterizing but, what I'm saying accurately. Now, now, it's, now it's my turn. Your, your, yeah. your definition is inaccurate. The reason your definition is inaccurate is because any sentient human being would acknowledge that history has consequences. Right. But if the idea is, but that's not what wokeism is. Wokeism is a different thing. Wokeism suggests that all inequalities of today are attributable to not only historic injustices, but also continuing injustices in the now. And I've that all disparity is attributable to discrimination. Like that, but a conservative. Not just that. Not a just conservative that. is the not only just, person. Not and just. I want to know why. Why is it that conservatives are the only people who define it like that? Okay, at least he finally acts. It's like, I mean, damn. <laughs> at least he finally got to a question or something. Why, why are conservatives we, the okay, only okay, people? Okay, okay, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop here because this is going nowhere. But What's up? I, I, we're, I'm gonna have to stop with this with you because this is going nowhere. All I'm going well, to say is this. To no, sum up, I, I, I just am trying I, to understand I, I your perspective. All right, yeah, get this dude out of there. Just one more second. On a, it's, on you a, say on a, on a fundamental on a fundamental okay. level, you're shifting definitions to avoid the consequences correct? of your own argument. And if the idea is, <laughs> and, and, fi and, and final point, speech. and final this point, and final point, if you're going you to hold on, warrior. if you are also. Oh man, this dude is really just embarrassing himself right now. Also, just final point to sum up there. Man, Ben probably feels sorry for the kid. You know what I'm saying? Final well, point I don't to know how I can follow that. Yeah, but, uh, one more. I just want to make honestly. Go ahead. I want to make one final point to sum up there. If the idea is that traumas of the past invariably bleed down into the present, that does not explain why certain groups that have been historically not only marginalized but slaughtered in mass genocide mm. are some of the most successful groups in our society. So if the idea is. If the idea is that past trauma always equals current inequality, or that my actions in, say, robbing a convenience store are attributable to bad actions that happened in Alabama in 1930, the answer to that is no. Don't rob the convenience store. The only way they are going to be able to break the chain of history is to make good decisions. What, what people on the left don't like to talk about is actual solutions. What they like to do is bitch about problems that existed 60 years ago and blame those for failures to solve them now. Woo! Ben Shapiro. Cooking. Yeah, I mean the problem with the problem with the posi position that that student took was that he said, "Okay, things have happened in the past that have led to you know disparities, inequalities today. All right, but what else? Like what? Then what? You know what I'm saying? Don't don't go up don't go up in front of a crowd like this unprepared. You know, if you have a if you got a point of contingency, you want to argue, write it down. You knew he was coming here. I doubt he just you know, woke up and was like, oh, Ben Shapiro's here. Let me go. Like he knew Ben Shapiro was coming and he got up on the mic and just embarrassed himself, embarrassed him, himself and people who, you know, attached themselves to his ideology. You know, that, that was an L for sure. L. But yeah, that was it for the video. You guys don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for your chance to win uh, Insider Plus or all access membership to the Daily Wire. I will be giving a few away at the end of the month of October. Till next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.